bothering time. You looking for me? Hey, look at me when I'm talking to you. Or I'll crush you like a bug. What do you want? Nothing. You are not what we want. We will come for you. Me. New York City under attack from unidentified forces. We join Claire Strauss live on the scene. Got it covered, Storm. Over and out. Warning. Intruder in the laboratory. Hey, what are you doing here? Now you see me. Now you don't. <laughs> Do you believe in magic? I won't ask again. What are you doing here? We're just looking for something. How about be more specific? Oh. What something? Paragon. <laughs> Electra, I'm under attack. Over. Electra! Hang in there, Matt. I'm on my way. Daredevil? Are you here? I'm always here. I'm gonna do this to you. <laughs> Such a disappointment to me. Let's send in the reinforcements. Young Maria Petrov, trained very hard to be the prima ballerina in a Bolshoi ballet. She was taught total control. Perfection in every move. As the pride of Russia, she began a tour of the world from Los Angeles. I had my own plans of greatness for her talents. Unfortunate event shortened my career. When Dr. Roku came to me, he said that the other doctors were all wrong. He told me he could make me dance again. I believed in Roku. As I dreamed of performing on stage again, he grafted seismic accelerators. He trained me to concentrate the seismic impact. I will now seek my revenge. What are you doing? 
I do it my own time, bro. By the way, my name's Johnny Holmes. It's mind over matter, baby. I don't mind. You don't matter. Is this Paragon? <laughs> you kidding, right? Okay, tough guy. What is Paragon, then? <laughs> Not what? Who? The time has come to destroy everything in our path. Victory is the only answer. Perhaps I should introduce myself to those who do not know me yet. My name is Dr. Niles Van Rokel, and as you will see today, your contributions have not been in vain. After many attempts, I am ready to reveal my final prototype. We still haven't finished all of the neural reprogramming, and there are a few kinks to iron out. Aside from that, it is a pure work of art. Behold. Spider-Man, I've tracked a power surge to the mansion. It's a mysterious force I can't explain. Chaos and destruction have troubled the city well enough tonight. It stops now. You have no idea what you're dealing with. I grow weary of this. Who do you work for, and where can I find him? Well? Power plant. He's in the power plant. Her biological father was a Yukusa boss. Forced into hiding after a public assassination, he was enraged to find out that Rico's mother had started a new life with the rival's clan. She gave birth to his daughter in another man's house. Feeling dishonored, Morimoto-san sought his revenge. Fire. The maid returned in the morning. She found baby Rico miraculously in the middle of the burnt structure. Without a scratch. My adoptive father was a brilliant physicist. I learned a great many things from him. My university research in cold combustion fuels was highly sought after. It was an accident. Everyone perished. Rokul seduced me with science. He turned me into the ultimate containment field by lining my insides with alien crystals. Fire was no longer my curse, but my salvation. I'm Solera. Well, someone's come to the wrong place at the wrong time. You're going to regret that. 
Yes! You dare to challenge me? If you're not worried about me now, wait until you see what I can do with this. The power! <laughs> Things are going to get really hot in here, big boy. Keith Killam was destined to solve the greatest riddle of the 21st century. How to find an antidote to the world's most lethal virus. He was close to creating a super antigen. A terrorist attack caused the containment procedures to be rendered useless. I injected myself with all of the synthetic antigens I had developed. My body's chemical composition was altered. The antigens were breaking down. All bonds in my cells, who call scientists, were very interested by my condition. Using nanites, they created a micro-robotic shell for my extremities, and they salvaged what they could of my organs. I have to live to find a cure. It is my curse to be alive. Kill me. I dare you. There are rules in the universe that declare that nothing can be created nor destroyed. Yet there are no rules in the universe to say that nothing can be created to destroy. We are moments away from the final test. After this, Paragon will be mass-produced as our victorious army. You may begin. This final encoding will allow her to plug into our system. She will be joined to my cerebral network and be able to use whatever she needs from it. Present yourself. Got my hands dirty. Spidey, it's Human Torch. We need to get to the power plant. We found something. Over. Great! This was supposed to be my day off. <laughs> Parker! Ah, oh, well, well, well. Look what the kid. 
cat dragged in. I'm not the same man you knew before. Yeah, you telling me? I didn't know you could get any uglier. Prepare to die, Spider-Man. Bring it. Say TV's bad for you. Spider-Man? Huh. As usual, that webhead is so unreliable. It was to be a simple mission. Drop a package in hostile territory. Johnny Ostrom and trouble. Ran in the same circles. He was first in his class at the school of hard knocks. Some local kids were in the wrong place at the wrong time. The cops, they beat them to death. So they nailed me to the wall for their skull bashing antics. John Ostrom, the state of Louisiana condemns you to death. On the third try, lightning struck the jail and blew out the transformer. He's still alive. It was Roku who saw the benefits of my electric personality. He put a dupe in my place. And I was free. He used me as a capacitor. I was covered with terminals like a huge Tesla coil. I could pull electricity out of the air. I became Johnny O. What the? I see I may have underestimated my foes. <laughs> I believe you know each other. Come and get it. Ben? It's me. <laughs> Sorry. You know, I had no choice. No worries, Squirt. You're just lucky that I wasn't feeling myself. Hey! Come on, Reed would have wanted to study that. Oh, looks like I got here too late. Is everyone okay? Everyone's fine. But there's a certain evil bald creep that's gonna be in a whole world of hurt when I get a hold of him. Yeah. No doubt. Well, you guys best take a breather and regroup with the others. I'm heading to the power plant to have a look around. I think that we may have missed something. I don't suppose you're here to talk. I hate talking! I hear enough voices already. Well done, Mr. Steel Man. I am Iron Man. Not for long.
Why did you create me? You must have me confused with someone else. Who am I? I think you already know the answer. Here you are. Come closer and let me have a better look at you. Who are you? Don't you recognize me? You destroyed me! I made you better. You were no more than a primate. A trained monkey before we met. Liar! Don't you remember? It may have taken centuries of your time, but that's all in the past. You're part of me now. And you probably don't realize how lovely you are. You stole my life. I had a child. Yes, a daughter. I'm afraid she and all your people died after you left. But I saved you. I gave you powers that others could only dream of, and have given you the chance to shine in the universe. You are the outcome of my life's work. I don't want it! I want my daughter back! I can't help you there. You killed her! I was hoping it wouldn't come to this! don't understand. When they landed on our planet, we thought they were refugees. You see, feeling compassion for others, it is something that I have had to unlearn in order to survive. More so-called refugees arrived. Slowly, they started to enslave us. All those that posed a threat were executed. Only I and a handful of other resistance fighters managed to escape. We needed to retake our home. We needed to build an army. I just wanted to save my people. That's why I made you. They're your people now. You're part of us. Forgive 